just earned yourself a detention, sir. Being with you is already one big detention. Son of a... Sir, I don't understand. That's glaringly apparent. I can't fail this class. Oh, don't sell yourself short, Mr. Coates. I truly believe that you can. Every year at Barton Academy, students, faculty, and staff depart the campus for a two-week winter break. But there are always an unfortunate few who have nowhere to go for the holidays. They're known as the holdovers. Mr. Hunnam. Hello, Mary. I had you guys stuck with babysitting duty this year. How'd you manage that? You know, he used to be a student, right? Yeah, that's why he knows how to inflict maximum pain on us. Oh. I thought all the Nazis were hiding in Argentina. Stifle it, Tully. You just earned yourself a detention, sir. Being here with you is already one big detention. Son of a bitch, that's another detention! Do you think I want to be babysitting you? No, I was praying your mother would pick up the phone or your father would arrive in a helicopter or a flying saucer. My father's to take dead. You You don't tell a boy that's been left behind at Christmas that nobody wants him? What's wrong with you? There's nobody here, okay? So you stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of yours. Let me sleep in the Now, most of the kids dislike you, pretty much hate you. Teachers, too. You know that, right? I find the world a bitter and complicated place, and it seems to feel the same way about me. I think you and I have this in common. I don't think I've ever had a real family Christmas like this before. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. History is not simply the study of the past, it is an explanation of the present. See, when you say it that way, and throw in some pornography, it's a lot easier to understand. No matter what you are. I'd like to propose a toast to my two unlikely companions. Are you trying to lift down my shirt? No. <laughs> Yes. You're gonna get me fired. This is your Rubicon. Do not cross the Rubicon. The Holdovers. Boom, there you go. That was the trailer for The Holdover streaming right now on Peacock. Also, it might be in theaters, depending where you're at. And you can also get it on digital, like Prime Video, um, Movies Anywhere, Voodoo, all the things. It's your boy Creepy Nerds Rule the World. And joining me to talk about The Holdovers is my pal, Heather. How are you, Heather? Good, good. Definitely not having PTSD from watching six movies at once. Thanks to certain producers at all. We 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 have a lot of things to do over here, y'all, because we've been to we've we've just been stockpiling, but we've been busy. And I'm just thankful to Heather for doing that. I appreciate you. I hope you at least enjoyed some of it. Uh, and I guess we'll find out find out in just a second bit with the holdovers being one of them. Um, as we saw from the trailer, a cranky history teacher at a prep school in uh, the New England area, that's like Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, uh, is held over for the holidays uh, to watch over the kids that get held over because they can't go home for the holidays. Uh, it's directed by Alexander Payne, who uh, unites with Paul Giamatti from, um, oh my God, why is this escaping me? The wine movie. What was his? Uh, Sideways. <laughs> uh, they work together on Sideways. Uh, we also have Divine Joy Randolph, who, who plays the uh, cook uh, at the university. We have also Dominic Sessa, who's a new actor uh, in uh, the big world of filmmaking, uh, who uh, I got to give props to. Uh, he stepped in there. He's the young man that is uh, held over uh, during the holidays and kind of hangs out with Paul and Divine. Um, so there you go. That's kind of like the concept. Uh, it's really a very straightforward concept. There's a lot of comedic notes there. There's some drama going on in there. Uh, it's a period piece. Um, I really like how uh, Alexander Payne uh, and his crew uh, kind of puts this all together in the costuming, in the way it's shot, and in the presentation because uh, it's, it's also shot very much like a period. Uh, it looks like it could have came out during that time. Uh, so to do it in that fashion is also really cool. Um, but that's the overall story and some of the actors. Heather, uh, again, I stockpiled this with a bunch of other films to watch. Uh, what did you think going in? Because uh, I think we did the reaction to it. And then uh, what was your overall feeling in regards to the story and the actors? Sure. This was definitely one of my like most anticipated movies of 2023. 
Um, ironically, since I didn't watch it in 2023, but it's, it, it's, it was an amazing film. Um, in so many ways, it was incredibly cliche, but it was cliche on purpose. Um, you could feel, you could feel those moments of, um, you know, that, that eighties, uh, day in the life kind of film, um, lot, lots of wide angles, lots of empty spaces. And it, it felt very purposeful. It felt done well. You can see why Giamatti is getting all the awards that he's getting. Um, and, and you, and you felt the, the themes of it. you you felt the, um, the hierarchy, the, uh, I'm trying to figure out my words here. You, you felt, um, the Catholicism and the push of religious and religion in schools. You felt a lot of things that you could really just they weren't hiding behind any themes and it was, it was really nice to see just kind of this point blank film with great acting and great writing. I completely agree. Yeah. Divine Joy Randolph, uh, shout out to her. Mm -hmm. I, I don't recall seeing previous work from her. Um, so this was kind of like my introduction to her and she deserves all the awards she's getting as well. And this young star in Dominic Sessa, um, do you have any thoughts on him to just kind of come out the blocks out of nowhere? We haven't seen him either. Um, but to be a young actor, uh, getting into this and, and uh, having to tangle with Divine and Paul Giamatti. Uh, Paul Giamatti. Uh, what did you think of Dominic Sessa, Heather? Um, I enjoyed Paul. I I enjoyed Sessa. I will go back. Um, so uh, Randolph is actually from uh, Only Murder. She is the pregnant detective in the first season, and she does kind of have a recurring role, even though it does kind of go on and off. Um, I do love her. She does do primarily voice work, but if you have watched Only Murders in the Building on Hulu. Um, you will definitely recognize her. I was just like, I know, I definitely know I've seen her from somewhere. You've, you've seen her, you've heard her voice in animated film since like 2001. Oh, sweet. But um, I love her to death. I love her character in Only Murders. Um, so it was really nice to see her. Going back to Sessa though, um, what we saw with him is what we need to be seeing more of again in indie films is we need to see a lot of young, fun, new talent um, getting the opportunity to just play these characters that they can just, have fun with and they can learn and they, they can develop with apparently Giamatti was very, very um, was, was more of a father figure on set with him. And they, and every time you had a question about acting, um, there was a very open communication on how to get better. Uh, and you, you see it in, in his role, you actually see kind of this development of character traits throughout the film. And he almost becomes more of the character and it's, it's great. Definitely agree with that. That that's one of the the amazing things about this film. And like you said, it is very. Uh, what was the word you used at, at the beginning? It was very kind of by the numbers in a way. You didn't say by the numbers, but you said something else. It, it was it, predictable. Like was some, it, it was stereotypical. It was very yeah. stereotypical. But it was done. It, that was also done on purpose. Exactly. It it rocked. Uh, I really I, I really enjoyed it. I, I was very pleasantly surprised. I mm -hmm. was a fan of Paul. Who can't be a fan of Paul? Paul delivers when he does a project and to have him team up with sideways which was a great film if you haven't seen sideways check it out mm -hmm. so to have alexander payne and paul team up and then with devon who again my my introduction uh now you got me want to check out only murders heather so thank okay. you for that and, and young star and dominic sessa just bravo I, I really enjoyed it and it's just the tone and just what they're trying to say uh the period uh to, to throw it back at divine uh in regards to her being a a black chef being a mom she took the job so her son, and I'm not going to give you any spoilers, y'all, um, but she took the job so her son could get this kind of an education. It it kind of just shows that ex the Black experience in a lot of different ways and, and people of color in, in regards to us trying to get opportunities. So I like that that was a subplot. Like everybody had their different issues and stories. Uh, Paul and his character, Dominic and his character, Divine, they, and they all intertwined and they kind of found themselves all together during the holidays. And it's just... I think we all find ourselves with our different things. If you found yourself in situations like this, I, I have of uh, being an ex-military guy. Uh, you know, we all have our stories, but then we can't go somewhere. So we're, we're all kind of make, we make our own family instantly together. So it, I really connected with this film. I really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I recommend. How about you, Heather? Absolutely. I mean, it's, you didn't even, you would just need to see the trailer to know that this was a recommendation. It's a, it's a great film. It's so it's definitely deserving of all the accolades. It's not one of those where you just see a whole bunch of good comments about a film just for it to be good. This is a genuinely heartfelt good movie. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So there you go, y'all. Uh, it's written all over our faces. We've just said it again. Kudos. Uh, we enjoyed it. Get ready to, yeah, grab a, a box of tissues because if you're an empath like myself, 
I, I cry a lot. I've been saying that a lot lately. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm getting older. If you, if you have kids or you just feel for the world, y'all, um, you're going to feel it on this one, but it's also uh, going to put a good smile on your face because it just it's, it's so beautiful. Um, but there you go. The holdovers, Heather Hurt, your boy Kuya P. Uh, if you want to talk to us about the holdovers, uh, our links, everything's in the description below. Uh, and let's talk in the chat. Let's let's get into it. Um, it was a great film and uh, there's really nothing else to be said. But if you want to chat with us, we're ready to get down and get dirty on the holdovers. Your boy Kuya P, Heather Hurt. <laughs> What's going on, world? It's your boy Kuyapi and our dub nerds rule the world. I just got out of the press screening for the holdovers, Paul Giamatti, Divine Joy Randolph, and newcomer Dominique Sessa. And uh, my initial thoughts coming out the joint. It was very sweet. It was very cute. Um, great little story. Uh, they really did a good uh, take on a older style. It takes place in the seventies. And uh, the way they shot it and just the way they did the credits, I really enjoyed how they kind of captured the time. But um, I'm going to have a full review on it, but just thoughts coming out of it. Um, maybe reason some tissues. You know, there's some tears in there that will come from you. I'm seven on the metal, um, and so there's a little tears coming out. Uh, but very funny. Um, Pauly G. Paul G. Monty, man. One of the legends. Uh, killed it. And newcomer Don McSess, uh, amazing as well, as well as uh, Divine Joy Randolph. Great film. Go check it out. I have my full review on the NR Dub. Peace, y'all.